Hi, good evening folks. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 66 plate uh, Toyota Hilux, as you can see. Um, four door double cab. Um, what are we? Active, I believe. Euro 6 model uh, with a uh, hard top on the back of it as well. Uh, this is now two keepers from new, um, essentially only because one lease company's bought out another lease company and they've registered it to both. So really it's just been owned by the one from new, but officially two in the logbook if I haven't complicated matters too much by explaining that to you. Um, good all round condition to be fair. Have a look around. There's a lot of these um, that are being really worked hard. Um, and that are quite abused so you will see a variation in prices on the internet it will be down to condition trust me we deal a lot in these hiluxes uh, and uh, the difference or you know, variation in prices on a hilux is generally down to condition and how it's been used this one i would say is in great condition a few minor cosmetics but nothing too major uh, it's in that utterly gorgeous blue metallic as you can see uh, it has covered 63,000 miles, I think it is. We'll double check that when we go in inside in a second and have a look at the dash. Um, so let's get in a, let's get on and give you an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. We'll start up here on the roof. As you can see, there are no dents or dings up there on the roof. It's all in good condition. Coming down onto your front windscreen. No major stone chips on the front windscreen. A couple of minor little marks. Uh, and there's a little bit of fallout from our trees, I'm afraid, where it's just been parked under. But overall, good condition. Bonnet. Uh, not because of the rake and angle of the bonnet on these things. They don't particularly chip up too badly. Uh, you've got a couple of really minor chips, but nothing major at all. Uh, front grille is all good. Coming around to your passenger front headlight. That's all good. Passenger front bumper corner. Um, you know, minor, minor hedge rash, but uh, yeah, no major scuffing on there at all. Coming around onto your, around the front of the vehicle, we have a little bit of a mark there on the bumper, just there, but bumper corners, no major scuffing there at all. Driver's headlight unit's all good. And if we look down the profile of the van, or the pickup, I should say, uh, no major marks. There's a couple of minor little dings. I'll point them out to you as we get down onto the rear tub. Uh, we will get our dent man in to have a look at those. But if you look down the, the profile of the pickup, you'll see, um, yeah, it's it's a pretty straight vehicle. Um, it's got the, the black Hilux steel wheels fitted to it. Uh, all of them have got BF Goodridge um, all-terrain tyres fitted to them. The tyres have loads of tyre tread depth left on them. That's very indicative of what all four tyres are, but I will show you all four of them. So loads of tyre tread depth on there. Your passenger front wing is in good cosmetic condition. Your passenger front wing, driver's front wing that is, isn't it? Your driver's door, again, good cosmetic condition. Driver's door glass is all good. Behind your handle and your lock, again, good condition. No excessive scratching from the back there. Your driver's mirror unit and indicate integrated indicators in good condition. Rear driver's door glass is in good condition. Rear driver's door, again, in good condition. Looking behind your handles, no excessive scratching behind there either. And if we just get down low, hopefully you can see, I know I'm battling the sunlight and I do apologise for that, but uh, hopefully you can see that your sills are not uh, battered etc uh, etc et uh, rear steel wheel again another black one again with another matching bf goodridge all-terrain tire on it arches relatively clean and tidy we can see we've missed a little bit on the jet wash but pretty damn good uh, big factory mud flaps front and rear on it rear tub so I think it's just on this side. So we've got a scratch here at the moment. Okay, can you see that? I can just about get a nail into it, but then can you see if I mess around with it a little bit, I can get it to go. So I think a bit of flat, a bit of flatting and mopping on that scratch 
will probably make it considerably better. Um, I'm not gonna say we're gonna get rid of it in full, but uh, I'm sure we can do something with it. And then we've got a little bit of a ding here. Can you see that? So, yeah, just a little one, but it is there. I'm fairly sure our dent man can get that out for you. Uh, we will get him in uh, and get that sorted out. Uh, driver side rear light unit's all in good condition. Your driver side rear bumper corners and the bumper itself is in great condition. Coming around to the back end of the vehicle, we've got a proper tow bar on there, look. All good. Uh, rear tailgate. We have a minor dent man ding here, which again we'll get the dent man in on. But in actual fact, for a, a Hilux workhorse, it's in pretty good condition. Truckman hard top fitted. Obviously high level brake lights in good order. Handle and everything working fine. And then into the back of it, um, we will dress this a little bit better to be fair. Um, but your load liner isn't showing any excessive abuse. Neither is the inside of your hard top. Little bit of chipping in between your rear tub and your tailgate, but nothing too major. And obviously you've got your load liner on your rear tailgate as well, which is an overhead load liner, the better type of one to have. Passenger rear light unit's all good. Passenger rear bumper and corner's all good. And then looking down the passenger side of the vehicle in the sunlight, as you can see, lovely condition. It is a lovely, lovely color, this vehicle. I know I bang on about it, but it is. A uh, hard top. Uh, yeah, obviously the hard top's white. Uh, to be honest, I think it looks pretty cool, to be fair. Uh, rear tub this side, good cosmetic condition. Cool. Steel wheels have all got elements of a bit of corrosion on them. So what we'll, I think we'll probably just run them around with them, um, you know, some, uh, some black paint. Uh, make them look a little bit nicer for you but again bf goodridge all terrain on the back inside your arches chassis etc all good uh this is just your, the the polish on the protective strip on the on the edge of your corner of your tub passenger rear doors good order passenger rear door glass is good behind your door handle we've got a really small scratch there um, but on the whole pretty good handle this side all good Passenger door glass this side is all good. Passenger door this side is all good. And passenger front wing this side is all good. Again, black steel wheel this side. Again, another matching BF Goodridge all-terrain tyre. Front and rear mud flaps on both sides of the vehicle as well. Getting down low, looking at your sills. Again, no signs of abuse there either. And then opening up the inside of the vehicle, your rear door card. Hopefully the camera will adjust. There you go clean and tidy entry seals the painted bits and the plastics are all in good condition your rear carpets are in good condition look underneath the seats look at the carpet around the side of your seats here when these are worked hard they get in great trust me our loaner is a, our loan hilux is one that is used and abused and they get uh, just caked in mud basically uh, and you'll never get it out um, never comes up well Back of the seat's all in good order. Your roof lining's in good order. The seat material itself, I know I'm battling sunlight and shadows, but hopefully you get a good grasp of what sort of condition it's in. ISO fix in the back there. It's all good from that point of view. And opening up your passenger side. Again, door card, passenger side, good condition. Seals, we've got a little bit of wear, both sides, a little bit of wear on this seal here. You get it on every Hilux. We've had them a lot worse than that, trust me. Um, yeah, we can't kind of get it painted or, to be honest, you probably add some protective tape down that side, stop it getting hit again. But plastic entry seals are good. Carpets in the front are clean and unabused. In front of your dashboard here, we have two lots of glove boxes, if I can see the handles to open them. Inside your glove box there, we've got another glove box here. And top of your dash, you know, it's not full of holes. It's not scratch from work boots being on there. It's clean and tidy. Headrest coming down onto your passenger seat. Materials clean and tidy. 
God, I've just spotted it. Look, a little burn there. Can't see that from a distance, can you? I think we might be able to get our sewing skills onto that and sort that out for you. Um, bonnets, uh, bonnet pulls the other side. I'll show you under the bonnet in a second. So, entry door card, driver side rear clean tidy and abused the reason i show the door cars are quite often with a pickup people throw stuff on the back seat it flies around in the back scratches and dents all the door cards can be a bit manky but this one's all good entry seals clean and tidy bit of scratching on the plaster but nothing major carpets again in the back clean and unabused back of the seats clean and tidy and then seating on this side back of the seats and your lower seat squabs are in good condition so you've got two ISO fix in the back, driver's side door card, again clean and tidy, inside your door cards clean and tidy, electric windows and electric mirror switches are here, central locking switches are here, turn your electric rear windows off here. Uh, entry sills, again as I say a little bit of wear on the sill there, not a major drama, we can get it done on here for you if should you require it. Carpet in the front's all good, we've got a set of rubber mats to go back into this as well so they're not genuine rubber mats, but it all helps, isn't it? Power heat button there, headlamp levelers there. And then we've got, I'll pull that one open for the bonnet. That one is for your fuel flap there. Um, that is a little bit of dirt that I've just managed to catch and put on there, but we'll get that cleaned off. Seat side of these seat squabs are all good. This handle does your height, uh, so your, your rake adjustment. But the seat, driver's side, again, clean and tidy. Um, the thing that impressed me about this is got to be really careful when you buy these workhorse ones um, because yeah some of them have been really used and abused but this one's nice uh, we've done the, the buttons down there we have two remote control keys for it as well um, the just to let you know the truckman hardtop the central locking side of that doesn't work but we do have the key so you can manually lock it firing up the vehicle on the clutch would help. Fire it up, it just tells us that we haven't got our seat belts on at the moment and that the handbrake is on. But as you can see, sorry, 67,041 miles. I think I may have said 63 earlier on, so normally. This button here controls your display on here, which gives you your range and average MPG and all that sort of malarkey. Do have Bluetooth telephone and music controlled off these. I have a bit of voice activation going on and your volume can search controls for your stereo unit. Lights are automatic, controlled by, uh, if you want to manually control them, by this uh, left-hand stalk. Inner one will turn your rear fog lights on and the right-hand stalk over here, uh, wiper washes back towards you and up and down to turn your wipers on and adjust this centre one to adjust the intermittent wipe. We have an uh, old-school digital clock going on here, has a warning light. Nice kind of little semi touchscreen unit here. It is a, I believe, with DAB. Let's just double check for you. Uh, where am I? Mode. That's Bluetooth audio. We've got AM, FM. Ah, okay. No, I don't think we do have DAB then. Uh, but we do have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Um, and a CD player. Air conditioning is down here. Heated rear window, where you want the air blowing to, your blower controls and the temperature control here. This is for your selectable four wheel drive. It's in H2 at the moment, you have H4 and low four. We've got a rear diff lock on it. We've got electronic stability program button here. We have a 12 volt power here as well. Six speed manual gearbox. Eco mode and power mode are down here. Cup holders, it's all clean and tidy here as well. There's no McDonald's stuck there, stuck down the side of the seats. Yeah. Um, centre armrest. I'll just show you under the bonnet. So the bonnet opener, if we have a look at the badge, just to the right hand side of the badge there is a little lift up. It's a shame there's no hydraulic adjusters on it, but uh, there we go. Uh, Power 16, sorry, brake fluid is here, you can see it's clean and tidy. Your coolant is here, there's no contamination on it, it's the right colour. A 
and then looking underneath your bonnet, no excessive signs of huge amounts of dirt, etc. that you get on the ones that have been used in the quarries. Which is quite a few of those on the marketplace, look at the white ones. Um, but there we go. Um, So just to quickly recap, officially it's two keepers, although it has been owned by the same lease company, the lease company got bought out. So two keepers, 67,000 miles from news, warranted miles off fleet, um, all round good condition. A couple of dent bandings to sort out for you, but we can sort those out. A little bit of wear on those entry seals, again, not a major drama to sort. Uh, and then, um, yeah, you've, re you've obviously recently got a, a fairly recent set of BF Goodridge all-terrain tyres on it. Really nice vehicle, great looking pickup if you ask me, um, and a proper workhorse one. Um, you know, it's kitted out to do the job already, isn't it? So, there we go. Um, 70 odd photos will be on our website very shortly. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country in Worcestershire. Uh, offering nationwide delivery and um, check us out online there will be 70 odd photos of this um, the, this vehicle going onto the website very shortly if I can be of any further help feel free to give me a call 01905 672080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com check out our reputation on the internet we're on google linkedin facebook instagram etc etc always good to do a bit of homework when you're buying off but there we go, there's 16 minutes of your life you may not get back, but at least you get an idea of what the truck is like that you're thinking of buying. Thanks very much. Speak to you later. Cheers, bye.